Okay, so the math dealer here, and today we are going to try to find the point that lies on this curve, okay? So it lies on this curve that I'm looking at, righty, that would produce the smallest slope. Okay, so we're basically trying to minimize the slope of the line. I think that's kind of the key. It's like, what are we even trying to do? Okay, so for starters, I am really, really, really hopeful that you all remember that the slope of any line is the change in y's over the change in x's. You've seen pictures, right? y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. True statement? Good. So very cool fact. This thing is passing through the origin. So we got that going for us. And it's also passing through this point x, y, all right? So we know it's passing through the origin, right, and x, y. So that's going to basically say, well, that would be this y minus y1, which is 0, over x minus x1, which is 0. Okay, well, that's not so bad. So basically, we're just trying to minimize the value of y over x. Well, fun fact, y is actually equal to, wait for it, x squared minus 4x plus 9 over x. True statement. So really, that's the formula. That's the equation that I'm trying to minimize. And remember, we talked about this in class. Like, make sure you always, like, you have to figure out, okay, so what are we trying to minimize? All right, try to minimize slope. So write the slope formula. And then make sure you relate those variables together. Okay, and we can relate the variables together based on that equation. Because just remember, and I think this is what messes people up, anywhere on this a curve, okay, anywhere on that curve is going to be a y value that satisfies x squared minus 4x plus 9. Okay, with all that being said, let's clean this guy up a little bit, right? You know a few things about algebra, right? All of those x's underneath all of them. Yep, true statement. So I would have x, over, x squared over x, which is x, minus 4x over x, which is 4, plus 9 over x, right? So that means that if I go to find the derivative of this, I'll call it m prime. I know, isn't that funny? You're taking the slope derivative. So is that the second? No, let's not go there. Okay, so the derivative of x is 1. Derivative of 4, of course, is 0. And the derivative of 9 over x is minus, is minus 9 over x squared. Okay? Now, to find a min or a max, you always set the derivative equal to 0 because you're looking for a horizontal tangent. Okay? So I'm going to set this equal to 0 and solve. Now, you could just kind of recognize, oh, yeah, as long as x is 3 or negative 3, it's going to work. But some of us don't really think like that. So we actually like to do the math because we are robots. So I'm going to solve this equation, right? I'm going to subtract the 1 from both sides. I know, super excited. So I get negative 9 over x squared is equal to negative 1. All right. A little multiplying by x squared is going to give me um, negative 9 equals negative x squared. Oh, wow, that's really a little jacked up up there. Sorry about that, y'all. Negative x squared. So that makes x squared is equal to 9. Of course, now we know x is equal to plus or minus 3. Okay, I, I didn't really have to do all that, but sometimes you just kind of want to take a moment, and just relax and do something you know what to do. Okay, so also I want to take note here, y'all. It's between 1 and 4. So we're only dealing with points between 1 and 4. So those are kind of like some restrictions on my domain here. So we're going from 1 to 4. And then I place the number 3 on the number line. Don't forget, this is a y prime number line. This is a derivative number line. So I am going to check values between 1 and 3 to see if it's going to be positive or negative. And when I say see if it, I'm meaning determine if m prime is positive or negative between 1 and 3. So in other words, let x equal 2. Plug it in. Do some math, right? You get 1 minus 9 over 4, okay? So 9 over 4, of course, is more than 1. So you know any number between 1 and 3 is going to give me a negative. Now plug a number between 3 and 4, okay? So I plug a number in between 3 and 4. Let me slide this guy up a little bit. So I'm plugging a number in between 3 and 4. Maybe, I don't know, x equal 3.5. But regardless, just think about this. I'm squaring the number. If you square a number more than 3, it's going to be more than 9. So 1 minus 9 over a number bigger than 9, right? Any number bigger than 9, that's actually a greater than 9 symbol, okay? Has to be positive, right? Because this guy is going to be um, uh, smaller than 1. 
Okay. And if you like, I need math, I need math, I need math, then do it. Put in that 3.5 squared, do the math, right? You're going to see that that value is going to be positive. Okay. So what does this mean? Well, this means three had to be a minimal value because look at what the derivative did. The first derivative went from negative to positive. If the first derivative goes from a negative to positive on a sign change, okay, then you know that at x equal to three, that's going to produce the minimum value for your m. Okay. So remember, what was our m? M was a slope here, right? So at x equal to three, my slope will have a value of, well, you could just do the math, right? Okay. You can plug the three right into there if you want. Doesn't matter. I get three minus four plus three, right? Which is two. So the slope would be two. Now the point, now check this out, right? X equal to three, but if I actually wanted the Y value, then I would actually have to plug it into the actual equation of the, of the curve. Because if I was trying to find the actual point, which it did ask, by the way, right? What is the point? So I would need to find the Y. So I could throw it in three squared minus four times three plus nine. And then you'll end up getting, I think it's six. Okay. So check that out. The first question said the point at which the minimum uh, slope will occur. That's the point three, six. The next question said, find the value of the slope. We just said the slope was two, right? And then of course the equation of the line. Well, an equation of a line, of a, a line that goes to the origin has a slope of two is just gonna be y equals two x. So those are the answers to that question. I really hope this made a little bit more sense in your um, world, because I know, like I said, in class, it was a little sketchy. So anyway, alrighty, this is the math dealer signing out.